What is up YouTube? This is the Peekaboo here bringing you another black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one is against Duke Ball for Life. His link will be in the description below and this is a standard OU battle. Now as you can see I'm using a lot of OU Pokemon but I kind of add a twist to them and I make them unique with interesting sets. So I hope you guys look forward to that and enjoy the battle. So he's going to lead off with a Tyranitar and I'm going to lead off with my Rotom Wash form and I'm going to go for the will o -Wisp because Burning anything is always good, and he has nothing to take the burn except for the Rotom Heat form he has on his team. And I doubt he'll go into that because I have the Hydro Pump that can easily one shot it. But, um, yeah, he ends up carrying the Lumberry as well as the Stone Edge, which is pretty interesting. I don't know what kind of T Tar set this is because most T Tars now are especially defensive with Fire Blast, Ice Beam, Stealth Rocks, or and uh, Pursuit or Crunch. But he ends up being a different set, and looking at that Stone Edge damage, he's probably max attack. But anyways, he's going to go into his Rotom Heat form at this point, trying to take a Will-O-Wisp as I go for the Paint Split. Not really the greatest plan his part because it was really risky, but right here I'm going to go for the... Uh, I'm actually going to go into my Gliscor, actually predicting the Volt Switch, but he ends up going for the Thunderbolt, which is kind of weird. But since he switches out, that tells me he is Choice Scarfed or Choice Specs. Or, um, yeah, I'm going to go for the Ice Fang on the Switch, maybe trying to hit a Latios, but he ends up switching into his Vaporeon to take it, and Vaporeon is extremely bulky, and he can heal off pretty much any damage with Wish and Protect combination. So, my plan here is to go into my Jirachi, and I do carry Choice Specs, and I'm going to go for the trick to hopefully cripple this Vaporeon so it won't be able to get recovery anymore. And that's the upside, but the downside to this move is that he'll get the Choice Specs, and Choice Specs Scald still does a lot, a lot of damage. Check out how much damage it does. It is a uh, clean 2 hit KO, I believe, at this point. And, um, yeah, at this point, I'm not going to stay in because I don't feel like I can take another one. It's min-max variants. It could take me out. It can't, but I'm going to play it safe and go into my Blussy, and this is really nice because I can pretty much wall this Vaporeon, especially when he's locked into Scald. So at this point, I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave on the Switch. As long as he doesn't switch into his Excadrill, I'm fine. I could have predicted the Excadrill switch, but um, I wanted to play it safe, and I doubted he was going to go for the EQ on the EQ straight away. I was predicting him to go for the Swords Dance, so that's why I go for the Fire Blast, and with the Fire Gem, that's easily going to one-shot this Excadrill, and this uh, Blissey set is really nice. It counters pretty much a good chunk of uh, Sandstorm users, such as Excadrill, such as uh, Ferrothorn, Scizors, well, bulky choice band scissors because I outspeed with my EV spread. And it can also one-hit KO a lot of other stuff like um, Gliscor as well as uh, non-multi-skill offensive life orb Dragonites in one hit. But he ends up going for the hammer, hammer arm with his Metagross. Pretty interesting. That would have pretty much one-shotted my Blissey. But I go into my Gliscor, thank God. And I'm going to predict the switch and scout for the Ice Punch because if he went for the... Um, he sh if he wanted to stay in, he would go for the Ice Punch, and that's why I felt like Rotom Wash Form would be a good switch in. And uh, he ends up going into a Rotom Heat Form himself. He goes for the Overheat, predicting me to go into my, what's it called, my Gliscor to predict the Thunderbolt again, but that doesn't work out for him. I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump and take down his Rotom, and that is really nice. A little over-prediction in his part. I really thought he should have went for the Vault Switch, and then went into another Pokemon such as Latios to pretty much take me down or revenge kill me. But at this point, he's going to go into his Latios. And I want to keep my Rotom Wash form for later because he still has that uh, T-Tar left. And um, yeah, he ends up going for the Psy Shock. And that's really nice because that deals damage to the physical uh, side instead of the special side. And that's going to be a clean to it KO form against my Blissey. So I feel like I'm going to switch. I'm going to... Either I'm going to Death Fodder my Jirachi because it's pretty much useless and I want to scout if he specs or not. And um, yeah, look, looking at that damage, it doesn't look like he specs. Maybe he's Scarfed. I'm just praying that he's choiced and then as he switches out, I can pull off a uh, Doom Desire. But he ends up being Expert Belted, which I thought that was my first instinct. But 
I wanted to make sure, and he's going to take me down. But now I know that he's uh, expert belted, and that's really nice information to have. And my really my only check against this uh, Latios is my Hydreigon as he carries the Psy Shock to counter my Blissey. So I'm going to go for the Draco, and that's going to hit his Vaporeon. And because he's locked into, what is it, um, a move... I can just death fodder my Blissey at this point and then see what he's going to uh, lock himself into. If he locks himself into Wish or a non-attacking move, I can actually set up a uh, soft boiled and recover all that HP back. But he ends up going for the Scald. That's okay. I'm just going to go into my Rotom Wash form, Revenge Kill with the Volt Switch. And yeah, his Vaporeon goes down. And uh, yeah, I'm going to Volt Switch and go into my Gliscor. And, um, yeah, the only the reason why I did that was to bait him in going into his Latios. So, yeah, right here he's going to go into his Latios. I'm just going to Death Fodder my Gliscor because, really, it's not that much of a use anymore. Um, it only counters Metagross on his team, so it's not that important. And I thought I could live an Expert Belted uh, Draco. I had a little chance of, I believe, but... Um, He's going to take me down with a crit, and that's okay as well. I don't really mind the crit. I don't think it mattered that much. And um, I'm just going to go back into my Hydreigon, actually predict the switch into his Metagross, and go for the U-turn. And uh, although Metagross doesn't really have the best special defense, it does carry that resist against my Draco Meteor. And that Draco Meteor, since it's not Specs and it's not coming from Latios, wouldn't do that much to his Metagross. So I uh, U-turn out, go into my Infernape, and just take it down with a Overheat. And I guess he just left his Metagross here as Death Fodder, because he really doesn't have anything else to take it, because he can go into his T-Tar if he really wanted to, but it would just die to a close combat. And um, yeah, his Metagross goes down, so I think all he has left is a T-Tar, a, um, and a Latios. So let's see what he goes into. Now, he's going to go into his Latios. That's okay. I want to keep my, uh, what is it, my Infernape here to take down his uh, T-Tar. So that's why I go into my Rotom Wash form to just pretty much leave him as Death Fodder. He ends up going for the Surf, which was pretty risky because I could have easily gone into my Hydreigon there. But, of, of course, I didn't want to risk that because he could have gone for the Draco. But now I'm going to bring in my Hydreigon, uh, go for the U-turn, I believe, predicting him to go into his T-Tar. And that was a really great play. I think that saved me because um, there was really two options. I went, If I went for the Draco, this T-Tar would have lived it. And then he could predict my switch and then go into his Latios as I go into my Infernape. And then he would win from there. But I end up going for the U-turn and I take down his Tyranitar with a close combat. So he could have gone either way. That last move pretty much secured the win for me. And as long as I don't miss my last Draco, I can take down his Latios. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, a favorite, or a comment. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this standard OU battle. I know you guys don't really like seeing those because you guys are subscribed for me to see like more interesting stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed some of the interesting stuff in this battle, such as this Blissey. And sorry guys for the lack of uploads. I've um, been really busy this week. I'm really sorry, but um, I really don't want to post videos without my layout. So I believe in quality over quantity. So that's why um, I'm posting probably only once a week now. And um, yeah, if you guys haven't watched, I have Wild Chase's tournament up. I have a tournament battle round one up. And uh, it was unlisted for quite a while, but I put it public. And it doesn't have that many views, so I know a good amount of you guys haven't seen the video. So I'll put a link in that in the description below. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the question of the day. And this is the Pikachu. Thank you for watching my video. Peace out, guys.